Hey, brothers and sisters. So I was fellowshipping with a brother in the Lord, and he shared this scripture with me in Luke 23. And I had never seen this verse before in this light. Um, I'm going to be sharing this verse here, and you can read it for yourself on the screen. But I want to give a little context before playing uh, this video. Um, Luke 23 is talking about when Jesus went to the cross, he told the people not to weep for him, but to weep for the daughters of Israel who would experience extreme suffering and persecution in the future. And we're going to see that in the time of Jacob's trouble during the tribulation period. And I think what we're seeing now is just uh, a shadow of things to come, unfortunately, for Israel. hard to even explain exactly just the mass casualties that happened right here. In fact, the Israeli military says they still don't have a clear number, but I'm talking to some of the soldiers and they say what they've witnessed as they've been walking through these different houses, these different communities, uh, babies, their heads cut off. That's what they said. Gunned down, families completely gunned down in their beds. You can see some of these soldiers right now comforting each other. Many of them reserves uh, who jumped into action, leaving their own families behind as well, not knowing the sheer horror that they were about to come to. They say they've never experienced anything like this. This is nothing that anyone could have even imagined when you're walking through here. Baby cribs thrown to the side, doors thrown wide open. Still some Israeli bodies still here because the fighting in this community just ended uh, just, just recently. So many of these troops are still going house to house, door to door. It's taken them sometimes 30 minutes, 40 minutes, because many of these houses are also uh, still have grenades in them, booby traps. In fact, as we're trying to get closer to some of these scenes, we're being told, no, 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 get back from some of these Israeli military because there are still grenades in the area. I want us to keep walking through, continue to kind of see the destruction that's happening on the ground here. Even something as simple as, as a soccer net just left to the side here as people were with their families uh, playing. I see in the distance more bodies being covered uh, all, all the while as they're covering these Israeli bodies trying to evacuate everyone else from the, the territory, taking all of the casualties out of here. It's also littered with the bodies of terrorists. So we're hearing from one of the lead commanders here. It was anywhere from maybe 70 armed terrorists who made their way here from the Gaza border fence, uh, which is less than a quarter of a mile away. And as I said, the atrocities that they committed, uh, violence with guns, with grenades, with knives, uh, targeting these innocent civilians inside their homes. Um, so for the soldiers here, it's a very, very difficult for, scene for them as well. As I said, leaving their families behind, but they say they will continue to be here, continue to to kill every terrorist who is in the area. You can hear we're very, very close to the Gaza Strip, so we continue to hear artillery firing overhead as well. Uh, even as we were giving this tour, we were told to get on the round and take cover um, because you actually, because you're so close to the Strip right now, you don't even get the red alert. You actually hear the boom before you're even told to get to the ground. So it's this is the reality, and this is what all of these soldiers, you can see, none of them expecting this, but all of them being here, ready for the fight nonetheless, and, and proud to fight uh, for, for their country is what, what I'm hearing as well. And so that's why they want to show the press, they want to show these very, very difficult images, David, but they want everyone out here because they want to see and show exactly what is happening here on the ground.